We feel it's really important to do a major motion picture now to, to get to the general public, to introduce to them what science and technology can do under the direction of the Venus Project within a resource-based economy. I think a motion picture can be played over and over again. It can be translated into many different languages and it could do far more than my personal lectures because it travels all over the world. And in a motion picture, you can answer all the questions that people ask. We also feel while Jacques is still alive, he is the best person to put this film together. He has worked all his life to arrive at this direction. He hasn't just read books. He has experimented and worked with people and worked with technology and showed just how a resource-based economy can function and what it will look like. So to us, it's very important to have Jacques involved in this film. The basic ideas for the film are laid out precisely. And uh, they are laid out in accordance with the plans of the Venus Project. If you don't have a public prepared to accept the Venus Project, there is no other way. All of the future scenarios in science fiction films are, are detrimental, are scary, are technology overcoming and killing people, dictatorial governments and technology watching your every move. This is quite the opposite of the Venus Project for anybody who knows about it. And this is what we want to get across to the public, that you don't have to be afraid of technology. We want to show how the methods of science can be used to enhance everyone's life and preserve the environment. If we spent the money any other way, I don't think it would be as effective. We need a large following to get this implemented. People don't know what's missing. They don't know any other system. So we want to show life in a resource-based economy, then show flashbacks of how we get from here to there, and do it in an entertaining way so we could bring the public along with it. The Venus Project story is already fairly explicit. And what we need, perhaps, from a writer is putting it in terms that might be easily understood or acceptable. It will have a lot of CGI in it, which is expensive because it does take place in the future. But it depends on when and what kind of funds we get that will dictate, say, the, the type of script. The more funding, the more elaboration. That depends on what people do to help support the project. We would have information on the internet as to how much has come in, where it's going to, and we have to do this because we're aiming to get the donations through our nonprofit 501c3 organization called Future by Design, and lawfully everything has to be transparent, and it would be. If we do make a profit, we will build the first city, or we will do additional films, shorter films, but many of them. People will walk out of this film with a definite direction to work towards and knowing the difference between what they have today and the possibilities of the future within a resource-based economy. We want them to understand it so much so they'd walk out and say, why don't we live like this today?